Hello everyone, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to another Polycore video and it is now week 8 of Destiny 2 Season of the Splicer and it's time for us to go in and do Path of the Splicer 8. So, uh, I believe this is the very last quest and if it is, well, it's been a fun journey and it will be great to see how the story will end. So, head on over the helm, I guess. So. Uh, eight weeks. It's been fun. It's been really fun. I hope this has a good story ending. To be honest, I hope it doesn't leave off on a cliffhanger or it doesn't leave an open-ended where things can still happen. Because if it does, uh, that would be kind of boring. In my opinion. There's still some things that need to be resolved so many things that need to happen. Also, if you hear some noise in the background, there's there, uh, some people cleaning and vacuuming and doing stuff outside, so sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, head over uh, on to the, uh, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, uh, Splicer Server there, that's it. That's it, the Splicer Server. Okay, so first step is to charge a gauntlet, which I already have done. So when you pick it up, it is to go on and pick a conflux chest at the end of the override. So go ahead and start up the next override mission that's on the moon. And once you get to, to the boss, all you have to do is kill him. And we're just going to get right there, right now. And of course, you know, each a week, each override mission is just too easy to do. So it is a matchmaking activity and it's fun. So. So, up next, we need to get to the next corrupted mission. I believe it's the corrupted mission of Tartarus on Europa. So, head on over to Europa. Europa. Where is it? Ah, there it is. You go ahead and start and load it up. Now, if this is the mission I remember, we can actually skip this whole beginning part. <laughs> that little bit that everyone knows to get the time trial done so you can earn the what's it called the time challenge on it I don't know if y'all can hear it there's a person with a lawnmower right outside my window so if y'all if y'all hear a noise that sounds like a machine or something in the background some yard work. Actually, yeah, yard work going out and back. When you first stole into this realm, All right. I did not believe you could achieve what you have. Invading a domain of vexed consciousness like this. Yet, here you are. Embodiment of the impossible. Somehow, 
in spite of everything you've accomplished, I managed to underestimate you. I won't make that mistake again. Alright, see, Osiris has known that we've done the impossible. That sounds so suspicious. The whole community is completely suspicious of Osiris. Believing that he's under Sabathun's uh, control. You know what would be funny? If that he if he's under Get into the domain, Guardian. That would be funny if he was under Sabathun's control from the very beginning, even before Season of the Hunt. What if uh I have a theory. Let's say Segura wasn't destroyed, but captured. Sabathun's using Segura as a uh, conduit to control Osiris. That would be more interesting, and then we have to either save or destroy Segura to save Osiris. That would be that would be an interesting way to do it, or just destroy, destroy the witch queen altogether. Eradicating unneeded simulation data and abandon terraforming projects. Beware those barriers; they will destroy all matter they touch. Yeah, but I've been hit by those barriers many times, and they haven't destroyed me. Oh, no, wait. Uh, not in this run. <laughs> Watch out, the walls move, and they can push you off. Having those, uh... uh what's that? Uh, the activation keys for the, the uh, little shortcuts and all that make it much easier. Here's a little shortcut that they've, uh, did when this first mission first came out. Jump on top of this and just skip the whole thing. So much easier. I almost died right there. Alright, see, look at that. Now you can just run through it all. Here we go. I, I, I'm gonna just get right here. I know that I'm probably gonna die in this. Or was it? I don't know. Just don't jump through the barriers and be careful from all the you know, stupid taken portal or vortexes. What's it called taken vortexes? Because these things bounce you off all the time. The and the stupid um, vex barrier. Now taken vortexes, right? Did I say that or did I say vex? Thinking faster than I can speak. Yeah, so this is a quick match. It actually takes me a, a few minutes to uh, do this. It may look like what no, I know what I'm doing, which I do, and I stupidly forget to a few things for <laughs> shooting the stupid um, what's it complex cubes. That's what I call them. Don't know even that if that's correct. Man, the shotgun's great. Iron Banner is this week, guys. I recommend getting that shotgun. It is very useful. I have the one that drops from the quest. It's Killing Wind, and I have the storm on it, but it's pretty good. So, yeah. Security. Take out these guys. If I go quiet for a minute, it's just because I'm in the middle of doing some other things. Or I'm talking to someone else, I should say that. I 
just lost more. I'm out of ammo, so we're just gonna shoot him in the face. See how much damage that shotgun does? Nice. This gun also has a that shotgun has a really low drop chance from the uh, from Salivan, which is odd. Plenty of heavy ammo now, so that should be quick for damage. Oh, okay. Gotta get that security key. Still a great gun. Took me a while to get the roll that I wanted. Honestly, one of the first rolls I got from the original source, which is what Reckoning, I believe, it was a good roll for me, and then I ended up getting this roll from the decoder during Season of Arrivals. Y'all are actually probably hearing that noise. These people are going crazy. Ah, they're power washing now outside. All right. Well, after you fix that mission, you're gonna have to find the expunge mission. Uh, Delphi, uh, Delpha. Um, not really sure how to say that. And oh, there it is, right here. All right. So it's on the far right side, right to the right of the other one. Uh, Delphi, Delphi. I'm gonna say Delphi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, I do apologize for that background noise. Every single time I try to do one of these videos and I go to record my voice, there's always something that... Always some kind of that background noise when I'm recording my voice or recording these videos. Each and every single time. Alright, so... We're, we're gonna get through this mission. So y'all, we're gonna get in here and do some fight. Now there is gonna be, I can tell you right ahead that this fight is probably gonna be tough. Cause with any end of the season type boss fight, it's always a bit tough. So I'll probably end up dying a few times, so you'll probably see some cuts in the vid to uh, get to, what's that, get to it straight to the point, you know? So, uh, you know, seeing all the dying over and over, just, Make it easier so you can see straight forward of the video.
Yeah, same partial layout. Well, I died. Alright, so don't make the mistake. Make, don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you jump off that box to the next one. Instead of, ju instead of jumping onto that moving one. Because that's what killed me. That was stupid. This is this is really easy, you know, same paths and stuff that we've done before. So I was actually hoping today's video wouldn't be <laughs> this long, but it's, it looks like it's taking a bit of time to get all the way to the boss fight. So I feel like this might be one of my longest videos that I've had in a while. Yes, okay, got that. It's just better to let that respawn at this point. And clear out all the ads. Innocent death. Yeah. 
there you go. Let's take down the shield. Of course, I go the wrong way. And time to jump in. Oh, look. Take out that first one, and I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab the um, security. Security access over the top. Accessibility. Missed all half my shots right there. And now, down this rally belt, and you know what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna go right up to that boss fight. Alright, yeah, let's kill them. Up and jump right there. There's the boss. Where we go, where we go, where we go. Just jump around here for a little bit. This platform right here. some of the ads get them out of our faces all right so you see how the rotating shields one's vex one's a taken vex i guess kind of perfectly aim your shots right there right between into the gap which deathbringer does a lot of damage so if you have deathbringer with the catalyst that's really good it does great boss damage I make a few mistakes here and there, so. We all know it's gonna make a few mistakes here and there. Because I'm not taking out these ads. The snipers out there, they're gonna get us. Well, probably, but I don't. What's the best way to take them out? Shoot. Well, let's say do that. So, you can shoot those off and you can switch your barriers and protect yourself. You have two bosses on the left and right, two Minotaurs. One's taken, one's not taken. Um, not taken, it's all Minotaur. So, destroy those um, to activate the. Destroy the crystals on both sides to activate the. Um, what's it called? The little security orb. I don't know what it's called either. I'm saying the wrong name for everything. Um, what you want to do is actually make sure you have a full 10 seconds. Now, there is a process to this. What I did is just run straight across. As you see right here. And since I have those, um, what's it, stompy ease? No, not stompy ease. What are these? Uh, 
I can't remember my exotic legs that I wear. Wait. Oh yeah, no, it is Stompy E's. Never mind. Yeah, Stompy E's. The help is if you're a hunter, they'll help boost your cross. Honestly, warlocks and titans, you guys, uh, warlocks definitely have the ability to move across the distance really quick. Y'all be able to get across that, no problem. So if uh, when you get Corya's health down to you know when they become invulnerable, just kill one of these bosses. Instantly, the shield will go off. You can actually kill both of them, I believe, at the same time. And I think her invulnerability doesn't pop up. But what I did is just, what, I, what I'm going to do is just, you know, shoot this one. Kill that one. Do some damage over here. So I'm probably going to fail out in any second now. Let's see if I can get this orb there. One, two. Get it right on the side. And there you go. Alright, cool. That's done. I don't have to worry about taking out the, um, that guy's invulnerability now. Then you want to give you some damage to Corey as well. I have no heavy yet the second. So, we're gonna just skip along here in a second, showing where I picked up some ammo for killing some ads. Have, have, have some ammo finder, okay? Trust me, ammo finder, definitely useful for this. I missed on that one. We'll see if I can get this one. Alright, yeah, I did. Nice. See, now, invulnerable. Just go kill the second one. And... It's a lot of gunfire. This area, this is actually very difficult to do without dying. Because you got so many snipers and you got a champion over there. Not unless you go in with a sword or at, if you have the ammo finder. I did, I had only for shotgun. I had nothing for rockets, so that was my safe. Watch out for by the way. If you get Corya down to this last bit of health, she's going to start launching these uh, waves of cubes at you. These walls, death walls, security barriers, whatever they're called. And no, uh, nothing will protect you. I died right there. So you just got to respawn and get some shots in. Some ammo. Yeah, having 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 the um, accessibility accessibility access uh, access to heavy heavy is just beyond important. I can't say it worse today. There you go, and almost dead. One more shot. Three, two, one. There you go. We win! Saviors of the Dreaming City. A deed of legends. <laughs> I knew it! I knew we could do it! Congratulations, Guardian! This victory is as monumental! Let's not uncork every bottle of champagne in the city just yet. Osiris is right. This is a monumental victory for humanity. Ah, but you're already wearing a suit. A suit of armor. Get it? I made a joke, guys. Ha ha. Alright, yeah, it wasn't that funny. Alright, after you finish, you want to go visit Ikora in the tower? In the tower. Yay. Of course, they have to, near the end, you have to do this step and this step. Then you go to the final thing, and then you're done. So many people to talk to. Duh. Oh, y'all like my ship, by the way? I never asked about that, but I, I, I bought this last week. I was like, I want the medical transport. For some reason, it reminds me of the... 
kind of remind. I, I don't know. I, when I saw this, I was thinking of Halo Wars uh, two. I think Nightingales in it. And I was like, I love the Nightingales in this thing. In that game, so they're so cool. So oh, look, ah, I want this ship. Still like Cage ship more though. But yes, I'm a Cage fan, boy. Cage six. Still waiting for that tribute for Cade. They never season opulence. When they had the um, tribute hall, they didn't put statue of Cade, which they should have. I really wish they would put a hologram or something. All right, we're here. We're here. Had Ikora. Actually, you know what? The spicy new uh, noodle ro um, shop has so he has a little picture of him. That's it. Still not enough. Alright. Alright, Cora, what are you gonna say? I know, whatever my thoughts on what she's gonna say. <laughs> oh, what's she gonna be thoughts? Finding Quirio, the Opinions, same person everything. Last night, confirmed our worst suspicion. It was the arm Sabathun was playing for us with. With its shot to borrow an elixir. We purged Sabathun from the best domain. I only hope we stop him in time. The dreaming mind's defeat, as with so many things best, is a process. It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the vacuum suit. In the meantime, Osiris is focused on collecting all the data we have on Sabathun, separating small truths from the many layers of lies. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our I want to know what she hopes to gain. I thought I might ask Lakshmi for her assistance, but that device she uses. By Osiris's description, it's used to align one's consciousness with other temporal realities, and has driven many war cultists insane. The visions it shows her, they cloud her judgment. Even now, she believes the elixir will be the cause of some great catastrophe. Osiris seems to think he can get through to her. He understands the technology. He understands her perspective, but I can only give him so much time. See, that was my theory because it um, splits your mind, different realities. So I actually told my friends this. I was like, I bet that's causing her to become like insane or schizophrenic or something. Something that's causing her extreme paranoia. And distrust with just about everyone. <laughs> so that was my theory. I think that she's and she's also seeing multitude of realities. Doesn't mean that it will happen in this reality. So also mistakes can be made from that. So I I was right <laughs> that or at least partly right. It, it, the character Ikora has the same thoughts. So which means it's not necessarily a bad person. It's just that she could be just being driven insane through using Vex technology and viewing multiple realities and her paranoia and overprotectiveness for the city might be uh, driving her crazy. Because <laughs> she could be seeing a reality that's not what's um, going to happen in ours. Probably like, uh, I'll think of any time travel multi-reality show where a person just loses their mind because they can't fix everything and they're trying to avoid the disaster it's like that and they and in trying to avoid the disaster and save everyone they end up causing it so that could be where we're heading who knows all right we off to see the next Transmission from Lakshmi. Oh, Guardian, I wanted to be among the first to say my regards. Your victory today has lifted a great weight from my chest. I feel like I can breathe again. I hope you're not too proud to accept my praise. Even though you may not see eye to eye, 
cried as the wind does at Rochelle. I did pray and I called my father's garments. And yes, I know, I do as I am. And you see, I cannot live, for I die in your arms. Which is more than I can say for some of our current immigrants. The city deserves someone who acts, someone who does what is right, even if it is unpopular. After all, you destroyed Quelia against the wishes of countless Vex. You did what had to be done to protect your city. You acted bravely. I admire you for that. You and I, we will speak more when this ugliness is behind us. After the Fallen have returned to space, and this endless night is in my mind, our city could use more heroes. Oh, she's kind of being passive aggressive. She's trying to admit that she could be wrong, but she doesn't want to admit she's wrong. So, I think she can be redeemed. And if you read some of the wars, especially that came out for the beneath the end of the night, she does have some predictability, or I guess wavering. That is great. I don't know how things are going. Now, as I was saying for some of the lore, she could be wavering, but she also might end up still going uh, against the Elixir. Who knows? Uh, she might see a different path through her little machine. So, that is the end of Path of the Splicer, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me. It's been a great eight weeks. Though that the uh, this qu seasonal quest is over, there could be some more story content and stuff coming out for the rest of the season. There's supposed there might be a end of season event. I don't know if that's true or not. So there, uh, if anything new comes out, new quests or whatnot, I will try to uh, bring you some more content and story relating to that content um, in one of these videos. Today's video was actually quite long because there was a lot to show, and I didn't want y'all to miss out. So thank you again, I'm Port Scientist 7, and this is another Polypore video of Destiny 2. I will see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye. Leave a like down below, um, comment, click the notification bell, and also uh, hit our Discord link down below to join us and talk to us in our Discord. And everyone, have a great day, and bye-bye.